just a shiny boy today. Just a shiny, big shiny baby boy. They call me Shiny Baby. I'm just, a, just so glittery. I'm ready for the club is what I am. All right. So today we have two drinks by the brand Olipop. All right. Now the fish are kind of showing through, but that's okay. That's that's part of it. So Olipop's whole deal is that they're for like um, they're like sparkling drinks, and they're high in fiber, low in sugar, right? So for this whole can, we've only got 35 calories, and it has nine grams of fiber, two grams of sugar. Okay, so this is a root beer, very low in sugar, high in fiber. We also have an orange pop version of it. So um, the orange pop has five grams of sugar. So like these are um, described as sparkling, but they're supposed to be for like, uh, it says digestive and immune health. So this is gonna be similar in the line of the, um, what was it, what I have the other day, the health aid drink, which was weird, but not terrible. And we're gonna try both of these today. So. Um, and if you're curious, it is plant fibers in particular. So these are certified gluten-free, vegan, and paleo. And they are a non-GMO brand. So you got that going for you. But I think we're gonna start with the root beer because that's the one I'm the most interested in. I think orange is easier to get right. Oh, what kind of sweeteners? Um, so the sweeteners for here are... Uh, I don't know if cassava syrup is a part of the sweetener, but I do know that it has uh, stevia in it. So if you are not a stevia person, then um, this is going to not be for you. So I am personally not a stevia person. But what is nice is you can normally pull the flavor of stevia out of something. I'm trying to see if stevia is in both of these. I don't really interesting. Okay, stevia. Okay, yes. So so they do use stevia as their sugar. So um, what I was saying, though, is that stevia is nice in that it's more of an aftertaste than something that's like palate forward. So if you are fine with stevia and I end up not liking this because it has stevia in it, they are usually a distinguishable taste. It's usually like, oh, this is good, finishes with stevia, I don't like it. So um, that way, if you're fine with it, and I say, oh, it's fine, except for, then you'll know that you'll be good with this. But we're gonna start with the root beer. There we go, cracking open a cold one. As always, I have to sniff it. I have to sniff everything I eat. It smells like a very vanilla forward root beer. Um, yeah, it's it's got a, a like a caramely vanilla root beer smell, so not 100%, not 100% like a Barks or anything like that. It's uh, a little bit sweeter smelling. Thank you, Paul. Hmm. Okay, so it does have a stevia ting to it. It's got that, that tint to it, but it tastes kind of like um, a weaker root beer drink. Um, I don't think it tastes bad, even with the stevia in it. It is certainly present, but I am not a massive fan of, like, I I would rather have a regular root beer. I'd personally rather have, like, a Schweppes or something like that, or Sprechter. Um, But this is not bad. This is definitely drinkable for me, even with the stevia in it. It is got a sweetness to it. It is does have that little bit of a creaminess. It is not bad. It is very low on the carbonation. So for something that says sparkling tonic right on the front of it, very low. This is not a LaCroix or even, I would say this is even less than like a Coke. Very light on the carbonation on this. But it is it is good. So if you like root beer and you're okay with Stevia, I think you would enjoy that. It's, it's a very smooth drink for something that is supposed to be sparkling. So the next we have the orange. We're gonna see how this goes. Oh, a bunch of zombies just spawned in. Ooh, 
This smells exactly like Orange Fanta. Th yeah, this this is a dead ringer on scent for Orange Fanta. And taste-wise, this is like a lighter... Oh, he's up here. Excuse, excuse me. Excuse me one moment. Sorry, I had a problem I needed to take care of. Um, as far as the flavor goes, it's like if they made Fanta with Stevia instead of sugar. Um, so, I mean, like, if you're into Fanta and you're okay with Stevia, th th I mean, this is good. Like, I, I might even get one of these for my own personal uses, which is, oh my gosh. I'm trying to do something here, game. All right, there we go. But yeah, uh, if, you, if you're looking for a fiber drink for some reason, you want something that is like a soda, but is uh, low sugar and whatnot, I would say that this is pretty good way